excited to be in a superhero project. I mean, you know, we've seen so many these days, but I mean... It's so cool. It's so great because so many people are really excited about The Flash and really uh, can't wait to see what's going on with them. So what, a, um, I know obviously you're part of the Team Flash yes, as a scientist, Team Flash. female scientist, ex, you know, etc. Um, so what do you feel that you're bringing to the Team Flash? It's such a unique perspective. Yep. You know, it's great to have a woman on board, a, a really smart woman, and you know, she does also bring that sort of emotional sensitive perspective to things too. She is from the very beginning so concerned about Barry and him getting hurt and very, you know, especially after the trauma she went through losing her fiance and the explosion. She she wants to make sure he's okay. She's very serious. She is very serious. You, we do see some flashbacks in 103 of her being a little bit less serious and a little bit in love, which is nice. Will she uh, lighten up, so to speak, later on? I or? think so. Uh, you also, from, you know, sort of the beginning, see the relationship between she and Barry, and, you know, I think that friendship will grow. They have a you know, they can relate to having lost someone and, you know, that grief that you sort of carry around with you and I think there's a kindred spirit in there. The kindred spirit, uh, will that lead to relationship, perhaps? I think it definitely could. Mm -hmm. okay. Hopefully we've got a long series to figure all that out. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody loves a good love triangle. Sure, right. <laughs> I was going to say, isn't it kind of like Smallville had Clark had uh, Lana and then all of a sudden uh, Lois entered the picture and said, it's yeah. tough, you know. I think Barry has always pined for Iris, but he can't have her. So we can figure out what, you know, what else is next. We have the sad scientist over here. <laughs> She's a sad scientist. <laughs> um, Arrow has like so many great female characters. Um, I feel like you know there's a few less in. in Flash so far, but well, uh, we're a baby show. We have uh, so true. much potential. Yes, they grew. They grew as they were. Yeah. Um, there's, you know, so many women do read comics. You know, mm -hmm. people think they don't. They do, obviously. Um, do you think that having these great representations of, of women on the superhero show is will help get more people, women specifically, reading these comics? I hope so. I, this is my first foray in sort of the comic world, and it's they're so beautiful and so accessible, and it's really fun to see the history to go back. And obviously, we are our own show, so we might not follow the comic book specifically, but I think Greg said that it's pretty true. <laughs> where, would, where would you like to see her go as the series is progressing? So in your mind, where would you like to see her? I think the relationship that they have at Star Labs is really interesting. You know, they clearly, there were thousands of people who worked there before this particle accelerator explosion. And I think it's going to be fun to see them come, hopefully come back to that. I would love to see the science be a big part of it. Um, obviously, they've got to protect Barry, and that's going to have a lot of great repercussions too. Like, they have to protect him physically, they also have to protect his identity. A lot of responsibility to the Lash has. What has been the Last biggest question. challenge for you coming into a sort of an established the biggest story. challenge for me is keeping track of all of the characters, all these rogues. I mean, Andrew will just drop a name, and I'm like, I'm so sorry, I'm going to need you to explain who that is. So uh, that's been the biggest challenge, is keeping up with all the different characters. But that's what's great, you know. They have so much to draw from. Every episode has a new bad guy, a new rogue, and it's so cool to see. I remember seeing the board in the writer's room of the ones that they were trying to pick from and see which one was coolest. <laughs>